Hi everyone. In this session, we have to discuss about uh, external treatment of water. That means ion exchange process. So, what is meant by external treatment of wa hot water? So, we are using water in boilers to generate steam. So, to get the steam, that water should be heated in your boilers. So, in this process, lot of chances to form scale and sludge on the surface of the water if that water contains calcium and magnesium ions. That means, if that water is hard water, then that uh, scale and sludge will be formed on the surface of the boiler. So, we have to remove that calcium and magnesium ions before feeding into that boiler. So, that process is called as external treatment. If we are uh, using uh, if you are treating that water within your boilers then that is called as yeah, internal treatment if you are treating that water away from that boiler that is called as external treatment so here we have to discuss about external treatment so first one is ion exchange or demineralization process demineralization means removal of uh, calcium magnesium ions from the water that is called as a demineralization process so this process in this process almost all the ions both anions and cations can be removed that is the main important things of this process so in this process we are using ion exchange resins that is made up of polymer which is having a long chain cross linked uh, functional groups so these polymers are insoluble in uh, water and these polymers are having more hydrophobic in nature and we are using these uh, resins to exchange that ions from water so functional groups are there the functional groups attached with this linear polymer chain are responsible for ion exchange property so theory so that a principle of separation is a exchange of ions between resin and uh, water that means ions present in that resin is exchanged with the uh, ions present in that water if that uh, uh, ions are uh, exchanged with uh, negative charged cations anions then that is called as anionic exchange resins if the resins are used to exchange positive charged ions then that is called as a cationic exchange resins cation means positive anion means negative if the resin is used to exchange positive charged ions means uh, that is called as a cationic exchange resins if that uh, resin is used to exchange negative charged ions with water then that is called as anionic exchange resins cationic exchangers can be used to remove calcium and magnesium ions from the hot water and the anionic exchangers can be used to remove chlorides nitrates sulfates from that hot water so in this process we are removing both cations and anions we have to discuss about this so first one is cationic exchanger so this is linear polymers may be styrene molecules so the cross links also there these molecules are having a sulfonic acid group there so so3 minus h plus so all these functional group is having positive charge h plus ions so these h plus ions can be replaced with the calcium magnesium ions present in that water that means if you pour that water then calcium and magnesium ions are replaced with the h plus ions so that calcium ions will come here so3 minus calcium 2 plus or magnesium 2 plus so this h plus will be replaced by that uh, calcium magnesium present in that water sometimes this functional group may be presented as a carboxylic acid group if that is a carboxylic acid group then co minus h plus here also that h plus can be used to replace that calcium 2 plus ions from the hot water so next one is anionic exchanger so these anionic exchangers are also having a linear polymer chain resins these resins are having a uh, OH minus ions with that functional group here functional group is qu quaternary ammonium salt so this quaternary ammonium group contains OH minus ions that OH minus ions can be exchanged with uh, negative charged anions of water that is called as anion exchange that means these OH minus ions will be gone and here that chlorides or sulfates will get accommodated so that is called as uh, anion exchange resins so what are the basic uh, requirements so the basic requirements of resins is are uh, it should be chemically stable it should not react with the uh, water that means it should be insoluble in water it should be insoluble in most of the common solvents 
so next uh, it is it should have high degree of exchange of ions that means exchange of ions between water and resin should be very quick that's why that resin should have high degree high capability to exchange that ions so it should have denser than water molecule it should not it should have denser that means density of that resin should be more or high than water molecule then only that will be immersed in in that water otherwise it may start to float so that uh, resin should have sufficient number of exchange functional groups if functional group is very less and most of the ions can be left without treat treatment so that number of functional groups should be high to treat all the ions present in that water this is the procedure so this is a cationic exchange resin chamber this is anionic exchange resin chamber here first we are uh, taking that hot water we are allowing that hot water to pass through this cationic exchange resin so this exchange resin is now reacts with uh, that water that means exchange of ions between resin and water has been taken place that calcium and magnesium ions present in that water is exchanged with h plus ions so h plus ions will be given out and r cal twice calcium 2 plus or r twice magnesium 2 plus will be formed that means all calcium magnesium are getting absorbed on the resin so with that uh, that h plus ions will be com coming out so now water which is coming through this outlet is having a slightly acidic in nature so that acidic water is now allowed to pass through the anionic exchange resin so in this anion exchange resin that chloride sulfate present in that water is replaced with a uh, oh minus ions of that resin so now water which is coming out uh, through this column is uh, free from both cations as well as anions so here initially oh plus ions are uh, coming out through this column and here oh minus ions are coming out through this column both h plus and oh minus ions react together and they will form water molecule so this is a important thing so water which is coming out through air is free from both calcium magnesium and it may be it also free from negative charged anions also and uh, the finally that water which is coming out is called as a demineralized water that means it is not having any ions now regeneration of the resins after completion of this process we have to clean the resin that means Uh, all the resins are getting saturation with that calcium and magnesium if all the resins are saturated then the whole process will be stopped there is no more h plus ions to be replaced with the calcium or magnesium so we have to stop the process so we have to remove that calcium and magnesium ions so for that what we have to do we have to wash that cation exchange column with h plus ions if you wash that h plus ions then calcium and magnesium will be removed from that resin surface there the h plus ions are getting accommodate on that uh, surface of the resin so we are getting our h plus again so this cation exchange resin is now ready for ion exchange process for second time similarly that cationic anion exchange resin also saturated with the chloride sulfate and bicarbonates so we have to wash this by sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide so that anions are replaced with oh minus so we are getting our oh minus now this anionic exchange resin are also uh, ready to use so now that removed uh, sodium chloride or sodium sulfates uh, calcium plus plus 2 or magnesium plus 2 has been remo uh, removed through the outlet what are the advantages so advantage is uh, it is having high capacity to remove this cations as well as anions so it is having high resolving power so separation conditions are very mild and uh, we have we can use uh, to uh, remove both acidic and alkaline if that water is acidic or alkaline that is not a matter we can use that water to purify this acidic and alkaline material also so is uh, the water water which is coming out through the outlet is having a very low hardness or it may be it may not having a hard hardness disadvantage this equipment is very high cost so chemicals which are used to regenerate that uh, saturated resin is more expensive and uh, turbidity sometimes uh, uh, if that water is turbid uh, then it may reduce the efficiency of this process so if that water is turbid then we cannot use this 
so all functional group might be hi hided by this uh, turbine so this is the ion exchange process